Brady, the chairman of Calvin County Board, after what I would deem an incredibly successful trip. It was absolutely brilliant, Damien. As I said earlier, from the moment we left, uh, it was the Met interview on Met Mr. Morning, and to this very moment now, it's just been a fabulous weekend. The organisation was first class, the facilities were brilliant. Two matches worked out exceptionally well for both teams, both for New York and ourselves. It's great that we won the matches, but it's important for New York to get two competitive matches before they take over the championship. Uh, great success with Bondland by the view. It was great for Terry and the management team to have full access to the players for five days so they can work on tactics and work on Bondland as well. So really, really successful and delighted with it. Yeah, it, it, it meant a lot to the Cavan people over here to see the Cavan team, to see the royal blue jersey coming out and playing in Gaelic Park. Yes, and we don't think about that, but like all those people here that have been living here for many years, it's tremendously proud for them to be able to come and support their country team on, on American side. And as well for all the Cavan people that use the opportunity to travel out and visit family and friends here in New York. And there was hundreds of them here for this weekend, and they really got an awful lot out of it. It's a great opportunity for them to come and have, a, have something to build around them. I build their week around it, their week's holidays and around it. Met their friends, met their family, and then got two sporting games in, in as well. So we're brilliant for that purpose as well. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. I suppose the uh, from a Calvin point of view, you know, the, the training camps have become across this country and within the, or across Ireland, within the GEA and, and something that nearly has to be done in championship preparation. But this was a great way of merging two scenarios and make sure that everybody is. It was, yes, and as you say Practically every county now are going for somewhat warm weather training or whatever it is, maybe the portion of Australia or whatever. But this was equally as important for us. Maybe the weather wasn't as warm as it would be a portion of Australia for some of the time. But it is important. It's important from a bonding point of view. It's important for players to get together and be with each other for five days and for the management to have the opportunity to work with them. And also, I football now, the commitment that these young men give and the commitment that the management give and the background team put in. And we all see Terry Hyland on the side of the day of a match and his management team in the back of the But what, we, what people forget is they come to this hours that they put into looking at video analysis, talking about their selection, meetings after meetings after meetings. I see them in Kingston Berkeley Park. They have training on Tuesday night, but they're there Monday night, they're there Wednesday night, they're there Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Like it's, it's practically full time for those guys. So they, they, they deserve to get this opportunity to have access to the players for like a, a five days, so it's great for them as well. Yeah, it's huge. I suppose it would be uh, wrong not to acknowledge the huge amount of preparation that was done on both sides of the Atlantic to make this trip happen. Absolutely, like the work that was done here from the day we got the phone, the phone call or the email from New York, the work that was done here in, in America has been fantastic and I like to thank the New York County Board for that. The Catholic Support has been from the DNA Association, the Catholic GFC New York as well. For the, the amount of effort that we need and for the amount of fundraising that to make this feasible and practical. Because this trip has to cost Catholic County Board uh, a rent cent, so that's brilliant as well. And also at our rent, the, the organisation, especially for Mark and Bob, who coordinated everything at our end in Ireland. Mark and Bob, countless hours to make sure everything was done professionally. And since we came over here, he's been the go-to man to organise everything, to make sure everybody was on time, everybody was at pace, and everybody knew what was happening. So he really did was outstanding at our end, Mark and Bob. It was quite uh, noticeable as I was coming up to the, to the stadium today to see men of maybe 50, 60, 70 years of age and, and some people who are older getting out of cars, getting out of vans, jeeps in cabin jerseys. They might be older cabin jerseys, they might be new cabin jerseys, but they came from all over America to see this cabin team. They did, absolutely. Like, when you look at the, the, the crowd of the day, there's a set of people there from 9 to 90. And they all were so enthusiastic, they were wearing their cabin colours. They flew in from Philadelphia, they flew in from San Francisco, from Boston, from numerous locations.